Hello and welcome to CNote. In this video, we'll learn how to find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. To make the circuit easier to solve, let's label each point with a letter. Let's begin solving. First, observe the current flow between the 1 ohm and 5 ohm resistors. The same current passes through both, which means they are connected in series. When resistors are connected in series, we find the equivalent resistance by simply adding their values. So, 1 ohm plus 5 ohms equals 6 ohms. Let's simplify the circuit by replacing the 1 ohm and 5 ohm resistors with a single 6 ohm resistor. Take a closer look at the path between H and E. The current splits and flows through two separate resistors. One is 3 ohms, and the other is 6 ohms. Since the current is dividing between them, that tells us these resistors are connected in parallel. When resistors are connected in parallel, we use the formula. 1 over our equivalent resistance equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now, substitute the values. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. That gives us 3 over 6. Then, take the reciprocal to find the equivalent resistance. So, equivalent resistance between H and E equals 2 ohms. Now let's simplify the circuit by replacing the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors with their equivalent 2 ohm resistor. Now, let's look at how the current flows through the 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistors. Since the same current flows through both, that means they are connected in series. As before, to find the equivalent resistance of resistors in series, simply add their values together. Substituting the values, 4 ohms plus 2 ohms equals 6 ohms. Take a closer look at the path between points F and E. The current splits and flows through the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors. Since the current divides between them, it means these resistors are connected in parallel. Now, let's calculate the equivalent resistance between F and E. Substituting the values into the formula, 1 over the equivalent resistance equals 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. That gives us 3 over 6. So, the equivalent resistance between F and E is 2 ohms. Now let's simplify the circuit by replacing the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors with their equivalent, a single 2 ohm resistor. Now, let's look at how the current flows through the 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistors. Since the same current flows through both, that means they are connected in series. As before, to find the equivalent resistance of resistors in series, simply add their values together. Substituting the values, 4 ohms plus 2 ohms equals 6 ohms. Let's simplify the circuit by replacing the 6 ohm resistor. You can see the current flows through both the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors. Since the current splits between them, that means these two resistors are connected in parallel. As before, in the case of resistors in parallel, this also gives an equivalent resistance of 2 ohms. Now you can replace the resistors between D and E with a single 2 ohm equivalent resistor. The same current flows through both the 2 ohm and 4 ohm resistors, so they're connected in series. So, the equivalent resistance is 6 ohms. Now you can replace them with a single 6 ohm equivalent resistor. The current splits through the 3 ohms and 6 ohms resistors, so they are in parallel. So, the equivalent resistance of the parallel part is 2 ohms. Now, you simplify the circuit using this 2 ohm equivalent resistance. After simplifying the circuit, you can now see the same current flows through all three resistors between A and B, so they are connected in series. So, the equivalent resistance is equal to 6 ohms. After a few steps and observing the current flow, we finally get the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B as 6 ohms.